Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 as the Pandya Empire. In the last episode, we once again were not able to go to war against the Maharaja up here for his kingdom. We are still trying to kill him, uh, but we just can't get enough support for the plot. Unfortunately, even though we were able to before. I think something we could try is to convert to Hindu which I did want to do at some point anyway. I mentioned previously that I would like to maybe start doing some holy wars into um, Afghanistan and Baluchistan here and eventually Persia and then maybe fight the Byzantines, which we would want to convert to Hinduism to do anyway. We can do holy wars as a Buddhist, but they're only for single counties. It says you um, can declare limited holy wars against non-Indian religions. That means only one county. And... If we're going to do that anyway, doing it now might actually help us out in this plot since it will take away the fairly minor, uh, admittedly, uh, negative modifier that there is with all of these Hindu characters in their opinions of me. So it's going to cost us 500 prestige, which is plenty. Uh, we have plenty to spare, so we may as well do that right now. Hinduism is a diverse religion with four main bran branches, Shaivism, Vaishnavism, uh, Shaktism and Smartism. As you convert, you must choose one of them. So, if there's one that gives us something useful, Vassal Opinion plus 5 is probably one that we would want to take. So, let's revere Vishnu as supreme. We should be able to choose our patron deity now as well. So, let's revere all powerful crowned Vishnu. Gives us extra diplomacy, which will help with our vassal opinion and also give us a chance to have more people join our plot. Oh, and the white tiger, finally. We'll definitely send people out to find it. Alright, well, let's see if this did, in fact, help with our plot at all. It didn't, okay. So I think while we're waiting for this to fire, we may as well go ahead and get started with some of those holy wars. And I think we'll just declare on basically every bordering character. Do a holy war for Kabulistan, we're only get, going to get a single county from him. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll do you. Oh, you have to be independent, which you are not. Do a holy war on you. And on you, uh, we can do Baluchistan or Sistan, which would be over here. We'll take Baluchistan for now. And you are not independent, apparently. Oh, you're under the um, Sulaymanid dynasty. I see. Where do you live? Mostly over here. Okay. Well, I think we could take him relatively easily, so we may as well declare a holy war on him as well. I'll take the neighboring county, I think. Yeah, in preference to those two. And... Oh, you're not even a Muslim. Who are you? You are Buddhist, so we won't be able to declare a holy war on him. So we're just going to have to leave him alone, unfortunately. Well, I guess that'll do for now. Maybe we'll go for these two counties as well, actually. Uh, I guess they're too far away for a holy war. Okay, well, we'll just be content with what we have. Our retinue is already on the way over. We'll raise some vassal levies. I don't think we're going to have to raise the entire levy from all of our vassals. We should have enough... from the nearby ones. Along with our retinue, of course. Yes, and various people are going to get called in and offer to join. Which should be fine. We can always raise more troops later if we need them. 
absolutely no factions now, which is good. And everyone is going to start getting annoyed about their levies being raised, but they'll just have to deal with it. I'm going to keep checking this plot in case anyone else wants to join as well. And our Maharaja of uh, Rajputana, Pratihara, whatever, has declared war on Sindh. Okay. That's fine. Not really a huge concern to me. Uh, this is desert here, so we shouldn't have any terrain penalties for attacking into that. We're also going to go off and hunt the Great White Tiger. Because apparently five Holy Wars isn't enough entertainment for us. Yeah, let's see. Send 8,000 here and... 8,000 up there. have improved her opinion again, which is great. Okay, we already have 8,000 headed to Kalat. Guess we'll send an army over here. It's mountains, so we are going to have a terrain penalty, but it should be fine. And we finished a castle town, apparently, which is good. spend weeks in the wilderness searching for any trace of your prey but are forced to return empty-handed so we can become humble or arbitrary I think humble is gonna be the better choice there oh and our Maharani of Punjab who we spent so long improving opinion with has just been murdered so we have a new Maharaja in charge there that is fine. Did catch this army in here. Okay. So in this one war we're at 72%. We haven't fought any other battles, so we'll be mostly relying on sieges, I think. battle up here, which should be an easy victory. Oh, and he is immediately suffering a revolt. Is this the same guy? No, this is the Maharaja of Delhi. Okay. So it's a different revolt. That's fine though. Uh, the Maharaja of Pala Kingdom has provided me with proof that my vassal of Tenkasi has been slandering me. I guess I don't really care about that probably. You are down here. Who are you? Yeah, I don't want to revoke that or anything, so there's no real reason for me to do anything other than keep it to myself, I think. Okay, we want a siege, captured a prisoner. I guess this war against the Caliph is going to be the most difficult one. We will have to probably get most of our war score from controlling this and getting the ticking war score. Well, our chaplain is converting people to the Buddhist faith, which is kind of um, behind the times now that we're Hindu. And we had a vassal Maharaja die. So we need to appoint a new chancellor. And we will appoint you. 
And who do we need to work on? You're only seven, so I don't think we need to care about you. I guess it's you. Okay. We have this completely sieged. Where else are we at war with? No. Oh, pretty much everyone over here, eh? Oh, we'll advance to another county. So our daughter needs educating. We probably don't want her to inherit. So probably not too worried about who actually educates her. We'll just use her for opinion. Uh, we have our Chancellor in your court, so we'll give you to this guy instead. Someone else has been called in, and we won the Siege of Kalat here. Oh, one of these is at 100% already, so we can enforce our demands there. They're already headed out of that county, which is fine. We'll... Go ahead and find somebody to give this away to. Not imprison any, not a ruler, my religion, my culture. Yes, an adult, not a great house. And we'll look for high stewardship characters since they will be able to convert the culture. And I'm not sure if they get a bonus to religious conversion, probably not. But either way, uh, we can't grant you a title because you're the wrong cast, of course. County is this Chagai. So taking all these counties is probably going to get us bumping up against our vassal limit pretty soon, but that's fine. We'll be able to create some some uh, duchies and kingdoms to deal with that. another siege. We're actually at 26% in the war against the Caliph, which is better than I would have expected, so maybe we won't have a difficult time winning that. We have a fairly sizable army over here, though. Okay, we lost our steward. So we will appoint you and have you collect taxes. You're not having to attack me, are you? That would seem like a bad idea. Win some more sieges and have a new vassal Maharaja. Okay, we've taken Kalat. We need to give away a lower holding there, and then give it to somebody over here who is of the appropriate cast. More prisoners. And a decently sized army over here, too. Okay, and do you have troops landing here? Yes, you do, but you attacked me in the mountains with relatively equal numbers and an amphibious landing penalty, which means you are probably going to lose that battle. I wonder if we should reinforce that. Looks like it might not be going as well as I'd hoped. No, I think we're going to be fine here, actually. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, we have 6,000 troops here now. Something we should possibly be concerned about, though. This army is in the mountains, so they should be relatively safe. 
This one can be reinforced if necessary from here. Uh, you're not actually even sieging here. I guess we're not at a war with them. So... I guess we'll head to this county instead. In fact, we're at 100% in this war, so we can enforce demands there. Which means we have plenty of things to give out. And you can continue on to this county. In fact, why don't you head over here instead? Okay. And let's just check on our ongoing plot against the Maharaja, which is... We do have one more person we can... Bribe. 102 gold, really. Alright, well, I guess we'll do it. It's not going to get us to 100, but it gets us closer. So we are up to 54% in this war. The other one we're actually losing war score in. I guess we haven't actually sieged any of the holdings yet, which explains it. But we have armies on both counties now, so that should change relatively soon. Abbasid Emirate has been called in. Okay. And we have another revolt going on. A lot of internal tor turmoil. At least uh, under our Maharajas. We ourselves do not have any rebellions against us, of course. Because we rule with such an iron fist. Okay, good. Uh, speaking of which, I guess I should probably fire my chaplain guy so he stops... Well, I'm not going to fire him, but I'm just going to stop him converting things and people. I don't think it actually matters that much. I do have an enemy army over here. Which war are you involved in? He's involved in the Caliph's War, so I think we'll actually fight that army since it'll give us war score. For that, once we have finished maybe these sieges here, we'll get both of these armies in on that. Okay. You have usurped some stuff. Fortunately, this county is mountains that that army is in. Which is far from ideal. Another revolt, good lord. Um, okay, instead I think we might go and fight this army since it's in desert and we shouldn't have any terrain penalties. And in fact, I'll wait until this siege is finished and we'll have both armies go in. Not sure which... Um, oh, it's actually this war that you're involved in. So, that's fine. We'll have you head back here. We want a siege up there. All 
Alright, well that's one of our Maharaja's revolts done with. And the Great White Tiger has been sighted again. Which is always exciting news. Oh, you're not going to get there until the 12th of November. That's bad news. Fortunately, the other army is going to have won the battle by then. Yeah, and we lost this siege here. This county is mountains also. Alright, I think with 11,000 troops though we can fight 3,000 in the mountains without too much trouble. So we'll actually head here and if they change their mind we'll just continue on to that county. And sieging a couple more holdings here should get us pretty much to 100% here. We're probably going to have to do a few more sieges in this war though, even after fighting this battle. Okay, well we're out of time for this episode, so we'll have to continue all of this in the next one. Thanks for watching, and join me again then!